All right. Good, e good evening, cyber friend. Just a minute, man. Coming at you again from Walk Studio back in Studio B. Yes, friend, I'm back in Studio B. <laughs> we want to give God all the praise and all the glory and give him all the honor, y'all. We thank him for what it is, and we thank him for each and every one of you, the cyber friend. Y'all know who y'all are. Yeah, I'm back in Studio B, and uh, as y'all look at my uh, video title, it said Payday After While. Payday After While. Now, y'all have got a very, a very good reason why I'm doing this video. I always have a reason, but I mean, tonight is a special reason why I'm doing this in particular topic. Um, matter of fact, this is one of my, that title is one of my songs that I wrote in the past called Payday After a While. I wrote this, oh God, I know it been at least, whew, what, 12, maybe 13 years ago? Probably more. I, it had been a while, but I remember writing it. But I never really did produce it. I never really did produce it. I, I wrote it out and I did a couple of recordings of it and put it on a few CDs for a couple of people that I know. But I never really did, I never pushed the song I never did try to push the song no further than where it went. Matter of fact, I still have it somewhere. A lot of my stuff got lost. In other words, I, I had a hard drive failure and I never did. I hadn't backed up a whole lot of my material and music. And at that time, like I said, y'all, I just lost it all and I'm not worried about it. You know, that just part of, that just part of the way things go sometimes. So, but nevertheless, payday after a while. I got, I, I, God, God, God got a sense of humor, y'all. And it's called, a man shall reap what he sow. Now, hear me, hear me good now. I've, I've, I've told y'all this more than one time. God's sense of humor is a man reaps just what he sow. Now, I told y'all in the past that that can mean not only bad, that means good too. If you if you if you if you are so good, you reap good. If you so bad, you reap bad. In other words, whatever you put your hand to, in other words, what you plant will grow. And you know, I tell y'all the truth. I, I I I try not to blow my own horn and everything, but I must say something because I'm 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 human and I can see, I can see and I can hear. But it just amazed me to 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 a degree some some of the people that can tell you stuff and think that you crazy. I mean, um, one of my church sisters, you know, I'm, I'm, we were talking, and what she said made so much sense. We can make all kinds of excuses for why we ain't doing this or that. Instead of just going on and facing the music, me and Anna, that's one of my choir members and my church members of, of Anna, y'all uh, y'all know, most of y'all local, y'all know Anna. Very well known for the song called Tell It. And uh, that is a true song and it's true to the statement of this here video I'm doing tonight. Tell it. In other words, if the Lord, that's one of the song, uh, uh, lyrics in the song, if the Lord has been good to you, you ought to tell it. That uh, I love when Anna, when Anna sang, when, they, when they, they sang that song, matter of fact, it was my buddy, not me. I wasn't the one that gave Anna y'all that song, y'all. It was my buddy. Floyd Carter is the one that gave Anna y'all and taught them that song. I came behind it and played it but he was the one that taught them that song. And they, and y'all was really known all over Southwest Georgia for being one of the, uh, one of the great choirs in the area. And uh, one of the great choirs, because we got quite a few, or, uh, you know, in the past, well, I know there have been a lot of pretty good choirs that come through the area and everything. Because like I said, my buddy Daryl, his, his home church down in Big Bethel, that's, that was a, on fire choir as well. And I, I had a couple of choirs, you know, Pleasant Grove AME, one of the one of the choir that was on fire, New Salem. I got as a matter of fact, New Salem right now is yet on on fire. Last time when we knocked off, it was, they was on fire. Cause that Marlon 
Marlon and 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 uh, Padera, Kim, they, all of them. They are saying, they are saying, they are saying. All of them. We are Janice. All of them can sing if they want to. All of them. Teresa, especially. But what I'm saying is, y'all, payday gonna be after a while. You know, everything that we are doing, don't y'all know, is being recorded. Yes, everything we do, every word we speak. It is being recorded in the heavens on God's chronicles. Everything that we are doing in this body is being recorded. Just like I showed y'all my recording studio out there today. That's That was Studio A. That's the main studio. This is my Studio B. Believe it or not, I can do in here just what I showed y'all what I can do out there. I can do it right back here. I got to sit up like that, but quiet. Because I know how to record. God is recording everything that you say and everything that we do. It's going to be a panoramic view. You, That's how come I say you ain't going to have a chance to lie. Because everything going to be played back for us. Our whole life is going to be played back. And you're you going to give in an account. You're going to get paid for what you have done in this body. Payday. After a while, just keep on. See, in other words, if you're doing good and you know you're trying to do good and do the best you can, keep on doing it because it's a payday coming after a while. Now, other people may not understand. Other people may not understand and 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 whatnot. They 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 they, they, they may tell you why you you ain't. It don't take all that and. Blah, 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 blah. But don't pay that mess a bit of attention. Go on and do what God has told you to do and do it to the best of your ability. And let the naysayers that keep on talking they trash because one day they're going to see. I'm just, I'm just here to tell y'all the truth tonight. I always try to tell you the truth anyway. But one day, I'm telling you, payday is coming after a while. I read the book. See, in other words, I just didn't skim over the book. I read it and I paid attention to it. And it's just like the song my sister Anna always sang, Tell It. And she got one called, He'll Come. That's the one she sang about, I think it was Sister Shirley Caesar made this song back in the day. We called He'll Come. And He Will Not Tarry. Yes. We got a lot of people, you just keep on, just keep on making, making jokes. Just keep on trying to make fun of people. Talk about they, they crazy and all like that there. One day you're not going to, all that going to come right back on you because payday is coming after a while. So y'all, that's how come I said, if you notice out there today, I was showing y'all, I said, I had the pit. That was my area. I could sit there in that pit and do anything I want to do. I can record anybody, any time, any place, sitting right there in my pit and I will never have to move. And then I got up and showed y'all which my main Control room has been in the back back there. Where my, where that old mixer, that was a brand, brand new mixer at one time, y'all. Yes, it was. It was brand new at one time, but that mixer has been well used and everything. And uh, matter of fact, I told y'all today, it's still operational. I can use it. I just don't use it now because I I got other uh, technology that I can use, and it, it, it uh, negates me from having to use that mixer. But I could use it if I want to. If I, I could find certain uses for it. But just like I could sit there in my studio and record everything that happened inside of that. I'm telling y'all, there is a big recording studio that God got. And he is making recordings of all of us. All of us. 24-7. So all this naysaying, you know, you can try to tell people some certain thing. And you can't tell them nothing. You you be trying to they are the they some people are blinded by the truth. They you they 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 are in self denial. They cannot see. I I I don't know about y'all, but me the man, I'm gonna tell you about me. If it's something, you know, I remember there was a time. There was a time. I got to admit it. I got to admit it. I did not like going to doctors. I didn't. I did not like going to doctors. I got to tell the truth. And I didn't go. At least I was standing up to my conviction. I didn't do it. But I was really hurting myself by not doing that. I came to see that. 
But it ain't nothing harm in going and checking up on yourself, y'all. But don't be in denial. If if the doctor tell you that that you got a certain disorder in your body, whether it be a blood disorder or something that they want to keep close watch on, or, you know, don't sit up there and deny. The, the man done told you that you got this, this here this ailment that could get worse if you don't take care of it. And done told you that. Don't stop being foolish and talking and being and, and, and denying the truth. We deny the truth. And we don't do nothing but hurt ourselves. But payday is coming out the why, y'all. We're gonna get see in other words, everything we do is being recorded. See, in other words, now you could tell me something. You you may have told me something maybe three years ago, or sometimes it don't be three weeks. People act People got selective memory. Let me tell you, let me say that again. Some of us have selective memory. Selective memory. Meaning this, we remember what we want to remember. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah, we, re we remember it. But we don't remember, we remember it. You know, we got a selective memory. We remember things that we want to remember. And things that we want to if we want to get over and get by with, we think we're getting by. I tell people this. You may think that you may think that you're getting by or getting away, but you're not getting away. It just it's just a matter of time. Everything you're gonna reap what you sow. Time will tell, time will reveal. Everything that we do is gonna come back to you. It's gonna come back to you, my brothers and sisters. I'm just telling y'all that, that that's a fact. That is a fact. And that's, that song that I wrote, I wrote this song a year ago called Payday After a While. And I'm going to seek and I find that composition. It may be on one of these old computers of mine somewhere. I don't know. But nevertheless, I, I could rewrite it because I never did really fully produce it anyway. But it's a true song, Payday After a While. In other words, just like the job, now it used to be a time in the past well, well, men and women worked, and they, they got paid on a Friday. But now, you know, they get paid any week of the day of the week, whatever the, whenever the payday year, that's when they get paid. Nevertheless, it's the same thing. You work for wages or salary. And once you do the work, you get the payday. You get the salary out of the way. You don't expect to get no wage if you ain't done nothing. And see, that's the problem with a lot of us. We don't do nothing, but we expect. We got our hands out. It's when the reward time come. That's what's the matter with this country right now. Everybody's on the reward. So everybody's feeling, they think that they're entitled. I'm entitled to this. I mean, no, we are. The only thing that we are entitled to is hell. But thank God for Jesus. That's the only thing we are really entitled to. We we purchased that our own selves. Adam did it. That fuck. That's the only thing that we are really entitled to is hell. But thank God for Jesus. But you know, we got people though, they'll never help you do nothing. I used to tell, I used to have some of the choir members back in the day when I was, before all this stuff happened to me with my health and everything and the loss of my leg. And now I do as I can do. But I'm still not, I'm still trying to, y'all saw that today. You saw how I was out there moving around out there in, that, in my studio and uh, everything, and uh, I'm not moving as fast as I once could have, once have moved, but at least I'm moving. And the thing about it, you got people that I used to tell the choir members, I said, y'all may can't play the keyboard, but at least you can help me carry it. But some people ain't gonna do nothing, but they accept, they talking about they for you, and they with you, but they ain't gonna help you do nothing. But let you get something. Let the Lord bless you with a, a windfall. If the Lord bless you with a windfall, like your musical stuff, because see, like I said, being an author now, and I thank God for that. I'm not trying to brag on it, but I am an author now. Ever since I, when I wrote mine and got my first book published, that made me an author. And uh, I, you know, y'all know some, y'all book writers know what happened on every two to three months. You get a royalty if how you wear your book doing according to how well the royalty be. You know what I mean? I'm not known. New York Times bestseller and done sold millions of copies. No, 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 I'm not that. But that's beside the point. Work, hard work pays off. This is why I, say, I tell the choir, all in the past, and I've been playing around here now just about 30 years. 
And I will all, I tell choir members, you got to work. You got to practice. You just can't expect to jump up and sing these songs and do good with them and, and be great at them if you don't never practice. You got to practice. Payday comes. In other words, when you practice, you know what your payday is? When you get up and perform that Sunday. When you get up and perform that Sunday in the house of God and you do your song and you do it well. And everybody that give you an applause or whatever, or they meet you on the outside of the sanctuary and say, sister or brother, you really did put all you had into that song. That is the payday. That making you feel good. But see, some of us want to be bragged on, but we don't do nothing. I, I, that, that don't compute. That don't make sense to me. Y'all excuse me if I'm dumb, but that, that don't make sense to me. How can you expect something out of something if you ain't did nothing, if you ain't put nothing in it? If you go to the bank and try to get money out of the bank and you ain't putting on in there, they put you in jail. Do I have to say any more? If you're going to do something, if you want a payday, a good payday, you got to put in the work. It's just like I told y'all about when I went back and started playing my guitar. I am really putting in the practice now and putting in the work. And guess what? I'm looking and I'm, I can see some results. I can see great results better this time than I ever have ever since I've been trying to play the piano. I mean, uh, play the guitar. I played the I went and took up piano. I, that keyboard is my major instrument. But I all oh, my great grandmama is the one that wanted me to play the guitar because of her husband, my, my great granddaddy, Lucius Marshall. In other words, they called him Sugar. And I told y'all in a prior video that they, they said he was one of the best guitar, considered to be one of the best guitar players on the east side of the Mississippi. I don't remember him playing. I was too small. I, like I told you, my great granddaddy died when I was three years old. And I never did. If I did hear him play, I didn't know what was going on. So I, I was too small. But I do know one thing. Anything that you practice, you're going to be good at it. That's how come us, us, some of us such a big good liars because we practice at doing it all the time. And a lot of us is in self-denial. Like I was telling you about that doctor thing. When the doctor tells you something about your body, you better listen and stop denying that it ain't nothing. That is that that is not faith. That's stupidity. That is stupidity. Now, if when if I know my foot down here got healed, God did that. But if I mess around and cut my foot, or if my foot go to acting funny and doing certain things, I got common sense to know. To get back to Cordell and see Jessica. Y'all, that's what she told me to do. And if I got in the sense, I would do that. Not just not, oh, I'm looking at my foot now. I'm looking at my foot running. And then I'm going to sit here and say, well, y'all, y'all did say what y'all want to say. My foot ain't running. That's self, that, fool, you don't, don't you know your foot is running? It, it, talking about, y'all don't know what you're talking about. People, we, we, we can do ourselves lots of harm and that damage being see it's one thing to be ignorant because all of us are ignorant to a degree because we don't know none of us know everything see i'm ignorant to brain surgery i don't can't do no brain surgery so i'm ignorant in that area so all of us are ignorant there ain't nothing wrong for being being ignorant that just means that you don't know a thing but stupid is something else now that is something else right there that means you don't know it. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Come on, people. I, I just had to. I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, payday out the while. And I'm just here to tell y'all that one day that we're going to stand before God. And we're going to give an account for everything that we have done in this body. Everything. Every idle word that you, we've ever spoken, we're going to give an account for that. It's going to be a reckoning day. So I'm just saying, you know, as I have opportunity, in other words, you know, everybody's not on the same level, y'all. Everybody's not on the same level. But at least some of us ought to be trying to do something. You know, I mean, good God, you may can't, you may can't sing tell it like Anna or he'll come like Anna. You may can't sing all my help like like Beverly or took our caller. You may can't do that. But do what you can do. 
See, that's the problem with a lot of what we want to do what somebody else doing. No, no, you do what you can do. And you still, you can be just as good as anybody else if you would just use <clears throat> what God has given you. Stop worrying about what God gave me, trying to do what I do. And, and then you ain't going to do nothing because you can't do what I do. Or that, that's, that's crazy. Do what you can do, y'all, my brothers and sisters. Like I said, I, I, I took great care today out there in my studio because I got wires and stuff. And I know right now that uh, I have to be careful. I can't move around like I once have, but I still can move. And I did the best that I could. And as y'all saw in the video, some of y'all, and one thing I got to say about some of y'all and my, my, my cyber friends, Y'all will let me know when I put stuff up and y'all will go and check it out. And I thank y'all for that. In other words, it's not that I just got to have somebody to pat me on my back and it's everything I do. I'm not that type of person. I'm not that um uh, uh I'm not that type. I'm not that kind of type. But it is it does make you feel good when people do uh give you the time of day. In other words, they 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 uh some of us we got pick and choose. I had a former pastor named Reverend David Johnson. Y'all know him here. Y'all local people know him. Reverend David Johnson used to always say a lot of us got these pick and chooses. In other words, I, I ain't going to do this for you, but I do that for over, that one over yonder. In other words, that one over yonder can do something, and they people won't even say nothing about it. But if you do it, they'll talk about you till hell come down. That's what I'm talking about. Them pick and choose and them clicks. Y'all, we better get out that mess. I'm telling you now. This is Minute Man. I'm telling you. Till the next video, next Bible study, whichever comes first. If God ain't in it, whatever you do, you better come out of it. Because it's going to come to nothing. Until the next time, y'all. Peace and good evening.